In the previous session, we have learned the basics of the Python, the feature of the Python. Uh, in this tutorial, we will learn that how to set up the Python environment to work with. To do uh, this, uh, we need to follow some steps. In this session, we will learn that how to download and install the Python, how to use the interactive shell that is called Python IDLE, and how to write the sample code using the IDLE. After that, we will learn that uh, how to use the Eclipse for the Python. Uh, there are so many uh, uh, I, ID are available in the market that you can use for the Python coding. But uh, since for a whole tutorial, I, I will use the Eclipse. So I will tell you that how to configure the Eclipse for the Python. So to install the Python in your system and uh, uh, to make the environment to work with the Python, First of all, you need to download the Python from the Python official website, that is python.org. You just need to go onto the browser and download the Python. There you can see the path, that is python.org slash downloads. Here, from here, you can download the latest version of the Python, that is 3.8. Just click on it and it will download the Python setup in your system. After that, uh, you need to install the Python in your system. So how to install the Python in your system? Just look at the steps. Just go to uh, the download directory that you have your Python. So I have uh, downloaded and put into my Python folder. Here you can see that the Python is available in my Python folder. Here is the setup file. Just double click on it and it will ask the administrator privileges. Just click on run. And after that, you can install the Python in your system by following the steps. Here uh, you can see uh, by, by default, the installation directory is your uh, C users, HP app data, local programs, and the Python, Python 36. So if you want to install the Python into the uh, default directory, then you can choose uh, this option. Otherwise, you can customize your location by clicking on it. Just click on the next, and here you can change the Python installation location. And click on install, it will install the Python in your system. It is very simple, and Python will be installed in your system. After that, since I have already installed it, so I will not install it again. After that, you can find the Python shell. So after installation, you can use the shell for writing the code. Python shell will look like uh, this. And uh, how to open the Python shell? Follow these steps. Click on the Start menu option and search for IDLE. And here you can find the Python. Ideally, open it. Now you are on Python shell, that is IDLE. Here you can write and execute your code. Uh, for example, if I want to declare a variable a with the value of 10, so I will write a is equal 10. It is simple. You know, you don't need to mention any data types that which type of the value you want to install uh, in store into your variable a. If you want to print the value of a, then you can use the print function that is print and simple pass the value variable a. It will give you the output as it has so a has the value as 10 so you are getting the value as 10 you can declare any variable s is equal simple a string type if you want then you can write hello if you want to check the value of s then you can write print s this is the function that you can write print s yes you can write uh, the python uh, you can write your expressions as well on the python shell simple if I want to write any expression, ex is equal 23 plus 20. And if I want to see that, what is the value of this expression, then you can see the expression's value is 43. Even you can uh, write like if a is equal 10, b is equal 20 then you can calculate the value of a plus b and you can check the value of c as print c 
Okay, so this is very simple. You don't need to create any extra file. You don't need to go for the compilation and uh, you don't need to follow so many steps to execute any file. So you can check your code on the Python shell. Yes, uh, you, uh, you can do all the things that you, uh, you think about, uh, you want to do. For example, if you want to do the uh, looping statement, if you want to perform any uh, the conditional statements so you can write simple on the python shell so here uh, is a sample code snippet that you can see here uh, if i want to execute x is equal 34 minus 23 then i can write simple and print the value of x if i want to ex uh, execute any conditional statements for example if z is equal is equal 3.45 or y is equal hello so this is called conditional statements. Uh, if you don't know that how to write the conditional statements in Python, so don't worry. I will discuss the whole things in subsequent tutorial. So this condition, if this condition gets true, then th these statements will be executed. So just look at the Z value. Z values is um, 3.45. Y value is hello. So as you can see that this condition gets true execute as true so these statements will execute x will be increment by one y will concat with world so if you want to see the result of x and y you can print the value of x by writing print x that is 12 print y that is world so this ideally is very simple to use uh, we will use in subsequent tutorial also now uh, if you if uh, you want to uh, make a setup of eclipse uh, for working with the python first of all you need to download the Py uh, eclipse setup from the website eclipse.org slash downloads from here you can download any version of the eclipse and it will work with python so after uh, downloading it you need to install it is very simple to install just double click on it and it will install the python in your uh, sorry uh, eclipse in your system after that uh, you need to follow two steps to configure the eclipse for the python so uh, look at the steps very uh, uh, this this step is very simple first for the python development under the eclipse we can use the pydev plugin which is an open source project so how to configure this pytev plugin into uh, the eclipse just look at this step open your eclipse after completion of the setup okay go to the help menu option and choose install new software this option after that it will open a dialog box here you will type the http colon double slash pydev dot org slash updates okay and it will show you the plugins options there you can select pydev and click on next after that, it will uh, download all the dependencies that is required for the Python. And from here, you can choose the Python PyDev for the Eclipse. Click on Next and accept the agreement for the installation of this plugin and click on the Finish. Since I have already configured my Eclipse, so I will not click on Finish. So it will install the PyDev plugin for the Eclipse. After that, after that, go to the Windows menu option, click on the Preferences. And there you will find on the left side, there are so many menu options. So from here, you can choose PyDev. Click on this arrow, it will expand. And from this option, you will choose Interpreter. And from this menu option, you will choose the Python interpreter. Just look at here, the Python interpreter option. And after that, let me delete this. I have already configured. That's why I will remove. Now, 
when you click on the python interpreter it will be blank now browse for the python exe it will open the dialog box so as i have already uh, told you that just remember the path where you have installed the python in your system just go and browse the python exe and open it okay and it will show you the libraries and packages select all and click on ok and click on apply and close so now uh, after following these steps your eclipse is configured to work with the python so uh, these are the steps that you need to follow and you need to uh, conf uh, before configuring the eclipse for working with the python So thank you for watching this video. Uh, in the next tutorial, we will see that how to write the code and how to execute and how to create the projects using uh, Python ideally or Python uh, or Eclipse. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe this channel to get the notification of the latest videos. Bye-bye.